These guys right here will just not give up. This is the Iranian-backed militia group known as the Houthis who fight out of Yemen. And I'm sure you've heard about them almost daily since the beginning of the war in Israel as Middle East tensions have all risen. The Houthis have managed to sort of become the main character throughout all of this. So recently, here's what the Houthis said and here's the threat that they made where the US Navy and Israel are all a little worried that things might start to escalate beyond the borders of Israel. And we'll get into what the U.S. Navy or the U.S. military might do about this and what Israel might do to the Houthis in Yemen and how all of this could create a massive disaster in Yemen. So first things first, Yemen's Houthis warn they will target all ships headed towards Israel. Okay, so first things first, we cannot take the Houthis as a joke, and neither can the US military or Israel. Ever since the Houthis have had legitimate success in seizing a whole cargo ship, taking out other ships with drones, munitions, um, launching drones towards Israel, the Houthis, again, they are being taken as a very serious threat. What we also have to remember is that the first threat that the Houthis made is that any and all Israeli ships only, they are going to get attacked. But as the Houthis started to go after more and more ships, it didn't really matter. I mean, there was a British vessel that was attacked and other vessels that were not necessarily pure Israeli or 100% Israeli ships. And now all of a sudden, because of this, you start to see the Houthis change their tone and say, you know what, we're just going to go after any ship that heads towards Israel. And whose job is it to repel the Houthis? Of course, it's the US Navy. The US Navy has already made the promise to Israel that we are going to be the ones to protect you, Israel. That's why we have two strike groups in the region. That is why we repel drone attacks and rocket attacks he um, heading up the Red Sea. And that is why the US Navy actually managed to capture or to shoo away Houthi rebels who were trying to siege another ship. So again, this is a really big deal and a very difficult task for the U.S. Navy to now all of a sudden have to protect every single ship that heads towards Israel. So here's the initial threat. Uh, Yemen's Houthi movement said on Saturday that they would target all ships heading to Israel regardless of their nationality and warned all international shipping companies against dealing with Israeli ports. The Iranian-aligned group is escalating the risk of a regional conflict amid a brutal war between Israel and the Palestinian militant group Hamas. The Houthis have attacked and seized several Israeli-linked, again, like I said before at the beginning of the video, not 100% Israeli ships ships, but Israeli linked ships where you had like an investor from Israel um, in the Red Sea and it's Bab al-Mandab Strait, a sea lane through which much of the world's oil is shipped and fired ballistic missiles and armed drones at Israel. Now I need to point this out that the US Navy again has promised Israel that they're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that no one attacks Israel from the outside and that Israel can focus on their war. But it looks like to the US Navy that this is starting to become a really big issue issue and they're probably going to need some more help and we'll get into that later in this video on who the US Navy is calling upon because there is a potential for a total naval task force to actually fight against the Houthis. We'll get to that in a second. Houthi officials say their actions are a show of support for Palestinians. Israel said attacks on ships was an Iranian act of terror with consequences of international maritime security. A Houthi military spokesperson said all ships sailing to Israeli ports are banned from the Red Sea sea and the Arabian Sea. I have no idea how the Houthis can make a statement like that, and I had no idea the Houthis had jurisdiction of the entirety of the Red Sea. If Gaza does not receive the food and medicine it needs, all ships in the Red Sea bound for Israeli ports, regardless of their nationality, will become a target for our armed forces, the spokesperson said in a statement. And of course, the United States has already begun to discuss legitimate military action on Yemen, not towards the, the Yemeni civilians or the actual professional military of Yemen, but the Houthis. So let's go ahead and read into this a little bit. U.S. discussed military action against Yemen Houthis with Gulf states as Red Sea attacks increase. The U.S. is discussing with allies in the Gulf over potential military action against Yemen's Houthis in a bid to stop their attacks on shipping in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Officials told Bloomberg that the talks, which are at a preliminary stage, show the U.S. takes the issue of attacks on shipping seriously, although both the U.S. and its allies still favor diplomacy at this stage. 
The officials did not say which golf allies were in discussion with the U.S. over the issue. I'm going to be honest with you and make the most educated guess ever. Most likely Saudi Arabia, who's already at war with the Houthis. Most likely Israel, who might send some assets to help combat the Houthis. Most likely um, also France has recently repelled an attack from the Houthis. So there's many countries and states who have a massive stake in this region um, if the Houthis are just going to go after anyone. This is a really big deal. And the Houthis are not going to collapse economic trade or global economies, but they might put a little bit of a dent in it if they attack the right ship. The reports follow statements issued by Deputy U.S. National Security Advisor John Finner, who said that the U.S. had not ruled out the possibility of taking military action against the Houthis. U.S. Envoy for Yemen Tim Lenderking told Bloomberg that he was in the region to continue intensive U.S. diplomacy and regional coordination to safeguard maritime security in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. He added that the Houthis were not threatening two years of negotiations aimed at ending the war with Yemen. Now, this most likely will be the response towards the Houthis. U.S. allies and talks on naval task force to protect shipping in Red Sea after the Houthis attacks. This honestly seems like the best deterrent you could do against the Houthis. As long as you can get a bunch of naval ships or deterrence against the Houthis, the Houthis can essentially do nothing about anything. The White House said on Monday that the U.S. may establish a naval task force to escort commercial ships in the Red Sea, a day after three vessels were struck by missiles fired by Iranian-backed Houthis in Yemen. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that the U.S. has been in active conversations with allies about setting up the escorts though nothing is finalized, describing it as a natural response to that sort of incident. I'm on Sunday, ballistic missiles fired by Yemen's Houthi rebels strike three commercial ships while a U.S. warship shot down three drones in self-defense during an hours-long assault. The U.S. military said it marked an escalation in a series of maritime attacks in the Mideast linked to Israel-Hamas war. Now, the reason why I'm pretty comfortable saying that countries like France are going to get on board of uh, trying to repel attacks away from the Houthis is because they are already doing it. The French Navy have announced that the Languedoc, a FREMM multi-mission frigate, shot down two Houthi drones in the Red Sea off the coast of Yemen that were launched from Yemen. And to be honest with you, this is actually great um, training for militaries to get out in the Red Sea. Um, and do their naval drills in real time. I know that sounds silly, but not a lot of militaries, especially navies, actually get to do their job um, their entirety at sea. Not that that's a good thing or a bad thing. Nonetheless, again, it shows that France is out there and is willing to also repel attacks against the Houthis. Again, you cannot take the Houthis as a joke, but one thing that is not a joke is that if the U.S. military or other countries do decide to strike um, portions of Yemen where the Houthis get attacked, the main people who end up getting hurt, it's going to be the civilians either directly or indirectly. In fact, recently the United States had to take the Houthis off of the terror list because it was not allowing for the United States to actually provide humanitarian aid and help the civilians of Yemen. Um, it's a very damned if you do or damned if you don't type situation for the United States. This is because they're damned if they do. If they go after the Houthis, they're going to help the civilians. They're damned if they don't. If they don't go after the Houthis, then the Houthis are going to go after the U.S. military and Israel. Now, Israel has already stepped in and said, look, United States, if you cannot figure this out, we're just going to go after the Houthis ourselves. So it does look like, you know, the Israelis, it's not that they don't care, but the Israelis are so far deep into their conflict and they are already fighting Iranian-backed militia groups. What more is it going to hurt by going after the Houthis where, you know, these guys are not even uh, a neighboring country, so let's just go after the Houthis, who cares? That's sort of the attitude Israel has taken. And to be fair, Israel does have the right to go after the Houthis these if the Houthis are going to go after Israeli vessels. So again, the Middle East is starting to get worse and worse towards Yemen. And unfortunately, per usual, in almost every war ever, it looks like the civilians are totally going to suffer if the U.S. military or other countries go after the Houthis and they start to strike down on the Houthis. Because again, the biggest issue that the United States had is that the Houthis, they were stealing from the civilians and taking away the aid for themselves. And that's not what anybody wants. So that is why this is a very critical issue. And that is why it looks like we're going to see a maritime task force be a deterrent or a deterrent, sorry, towards the Houthis.